then meets the eye. For now, I'll send it back to you. Very interesting. Thank you, Jen Palasak. Well, now let's move on to the stress of everyday life. It can be hard enough, of course, for adults to deal with. So imagine what a young child goes through when faced with challenges. In tonight's Making a Difference, our Susan Hay tells us about a unique program that aims to give children the skills they need to cope. Supporting the healthy development of children is what this center is all about. Dr. Lena Ajameri is the director at the Child Development Institute in Toronto and is also responsible for creating a program called SNAP, Stop Now and Plan to help children and families, so specifically children under the age of 12, for emotion regulation, self-control and problem solving. Scientifically tested and refined over the past 29 years, SNAP helps children to think before they act with the goal of keeping kids in school and out of trouble. It's like a stoplight. So the red light is where you get the kids to stop, take a deep breath, count to 10. The yellow light is where you use your thinking. This is really hard, but I can handle this. And the green light is where you come up with a plan. So it makes your problem smaller, make you feel okay, and not hurt anyone, yourself, or anything. All right, Nathaniel, so what's, what's the situation that this week that you got into trouble with? Paul Henry is a researcher here, specializing in services for children with disruptive behavior problems. He's also a former client. When you were role-playing today with Nathaniel, did it take you back a little bit? Yeah, I kind of had a flashback. I was 11. There was a lot of issues, lying, stealing, manipulating. SNAP has helped me in so many ways. It's given me a foundation, gave me skills to kind of, you know, learn how to stop and learn how to think before I act. Paul is currently working in collaboration with the University of Toronto on a five-year research study on children's truth and lie-telling behaviors. If a child is lying more, more than kind of, you know, what's socially acceptable, that could be a warning sign that they are uh, heading down a path of problem behaviors. SNAP programs are gender sensitive and centered around easy to learn techniques. It's not only um, a child rehabilitation program, it's a parent rehabilitation program. So they're learning steps to change their behavior and so are we. Whether it's stress, things going on at home, things going on at school and they haven't learned the skills to be able to stand up for themselves. And SNAP is one of those skills to help these children stop now in plan. Good day. Great work going on there, but while that was rolling, Susan, you just gave me some startling statistics when it comes to children and mental health. One in five Canadian children have mental health issues. That is shocking. Absolutely. And the, these groups target kids under 12. Why is that? Because kids under 12, they're excellent candidates for uh, self-control and problem solving. So a program like this helps them, they make them think about it, so they stop, they maybe count to 10. Um, and so then, they, they, then they start a plan, you know, yeah. in, rather than punch you because you upset me, maybe I'll put my hands in my pocket and I'm going to walk away. Yeah. You get a good skill set at that age. Absolutely. The program now has been going on for 21 or 29 years of research. SNAP has received the highest standard of scientific and clinical excellence, resulting in proven results, creating happier and healthier children, families, and safer communities. Now, to learn more about the SNAP program tonight, you can visit globaltoronto.ca globalnews.ca slash Toronto. See what happens when you're off for a week? <laughs> yeah, after how many years? <laughs> <laughs> There's no excuse. Exactly. Two. Stop it. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. All right, coming up, Danger from Above, a Global News exclusive tonight. This building